So, okay, well, this is game number 11 of the human run. Um, this is what the humans look like. We've got our block ogre. We've got a nice looking blitzer core now. Um, uh, just the 11 players. The record is six, one and three, which is a bit, eh. but um, we're enjoying the humans a lot. So we're playing them on. Uh, this is Moldbird, our opponent. Uh, oh no. <laughs> oh dear. We're playing a Skaven team that has a movement 10, agility five, gotcha runner. And we haven't got any tackle. I think we've got to take the wizard. Um, don't think there's any stars that are better than the wizard. Yeah, I think that's just the choice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, GG. GG, well played, Marvard. Congratulations. <laughs> that's a disgusting gutter, isn't it? Sure, I don't want three babes. No. No, I don't think so. I think I want I wanted the wizard and a bribe, but I couldn't afford both. I think we're going for another moral 5-0 victory, yes. I don't need to say good luck to you in chat, um, because you're here. So your 16th game over with Skaven. Nice. It's game number 11 of the Humies. The Humies are the first team to go past 10 games this season because I'm enjoying them, even if the record isn't amazing. I just, I, I enjoy humans. They're a fun team to play. Ooh, sweltering heat. Um, that is, well, I just hate sweltering heat, to be honest, but um, it's definitely a wild card. It means like something could go badly for us or could go well. Um, Morbird has chosen offense first. I was expecting the opposite, so that's interesting. Um, I don't really have enough rubbish ones to go on. I might have to put the block ogre on the line, which I don't like at all. But I think I have to. And then we... Oh, yeah, hang on. We don't do offset lines against Skaven. We do chevrons, probably. It's okay, because we're going to roll either a perfect defense or a blitz and fix it afterwards. I've decided. Because we've had a blitz and a perfect defense against us this morning, so that's that's how that works. After a while, it's your turn, and it changes around. That's always how that works in Mud Bowl. Am I okay with this? I'm not thrilled about it, but it's what we've got. All right. Thanks, my word. Enjoy the game. And good luck, genuinely. Like, it's all just butt porn. Um, Mr. Anderson, QQ, thank you for the follow. Don't think I said hello when you came in. You're still waiting for your turn. It's coming, Practical Snow, it's coming. Any any moment now, just keep playing and, and suddenly you'll get all the blitzes. It's a bit hairy on both sides, this with 11 on both teams, isn't it? Like neither of these teams really wants to play on 11 players. Although I could have bought 12 and I didn't, I guess because we're all sneaky min-maxers in CCL trying to trying to not spin into bigger teams. Yeah, they've got the grossest gutter runner of all time. Sneaky beat. It's absolutely not the grossest gutter runner of all time. I've seen grosser, but it's a very gross gutter runner. Technically not a natural one-turner. It does require one push before then doing its edge five shenanigans. So nice short kick to my right hand side and a blitz, please. Blitz. That's not a blitz. At least it's not sweltering heat anymore, but still. Boo. Oh, raid coming in. Jimmy, fantastic with the mega raid. Jimmy, how are you? Um, are you all qualified for GG tour? Have you, um, thank you for the raid, and have you, uh, 
Have you sorted out qualification? Oh, that's nice. You've got to reroll that, I think. Balls on the floor. Yeah. I did qualify in Hilarious Star. Tell me, tell me, what happened? Jimmy Despicable is more like it. What did you do? One, please. That's not a one. First guy said, I'm unsubscribing from your YouTube. I don't know why you make guys. You're not even good at Bud Bowl. Wow, that is aggressive smack talk. That is an aggressive way to introduce yourself to an opponent. Second guy had, oh, I was, I've heard about this, that there was a Kemri team, but that Kemri team beat some orcs, apparently. HTK, thank you so much for the gift sub. That's very kind. Uh, someone gifted you a sub earlier, which I guess you saw. Um, Pavan, who is our ogre on this team. Um, Pavan, I don't know if you're here, but um, welcome to the weirdos. And HTK, you have earned a, a tree buck if you would like to influence the next team we play. Let me know. Um, uh, if you follow the spreadsheet here, because not every team is available for uh, one, but you can you can spend your tree buck to, to throw a marble into the race that decides which team I play next. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Good. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. Not dead. Good. Uh, I guess we want to mighty blow something in the face. Um, I think that's going to be the plan for the first few turns, is see if we can hurt something. We'll stand you up. Good job, Pavan. Um, Ogre safe, exactly. Let's get our wrestle piece back since we don't have any tackle. And I think that was the turn, boring as that is. Uh, yeah, so HTK, you, you can pick a team, basically, which helps decide who I play next. So you have to, you have to nominate a team. It, the, the marble doesn't go in with your name in. It goes on with the, the team you've nominated. Now, most teams are just one sub f to put on, but there are a few that would cost two subs, so you're probably not going to choose, which are High Elves, Amazons, Sunty teams. And then there are a couple more that are three subs which is dwarves and and chaos dwarves because i don't want to play them so so yeah you you can pick a team and hang on the full price list is there if you want to know how much they each cost most teams are one but if you aren't and generally the ones that are more are the ones i don't want to play sundays i did as two just because it felt like otherwise everyone would pick sunty and high elves are two just because i did them last season Okay, so it gets the hit on Ploppin, but Ploppin is too strong. Can't plop on Ploppin. And we've now left a guard thrower next to the ogre, which seems potentially quite good for us. Hang on, what's Chris said? 
did Chris say? Hey, I get told I can't paint, ignoring his glorious. If anyone thinks that Chris Fosin can't paint, they might need eyes checked, I reckon. Because you can, can't you? Um, do I stick all the guard in here? I feel like whenever I do things like this, it backfires and it turns out I've been an idiot. Because I'm not used to having lots of guard. And it's not the teams I normally play. But on the other hand, it feels like that would be quite annoying. And it makes this a three dice. And since I have block, I'll do that one. Um, should we three dice this one as well? Because it's a gut runner and we don't want that to live. Disappointing. Um, guess we just push it away. Okay. Like this seems like it's a pain for them to deal with, right? Like that's a lot of guard. Their players are all squidged together on. Um. Wow, Eludius with the big raid as well. Eludius, my gosh, thank you so much for the raid. That is now lots of big raids coming in here. Eludius, how is your stream today? Have you been doing GG Tour qualifiers? Are you all set and qualified? I think this is a GFI now. I think. It was, but they made it, so. And Matt the Ice Cream Man is okay, but a bit stuck to the sideline here. Thanks for the radio, Ludius. I should do some shout outs. Ah, oh, I need my mods here to do shout outs for me. So let's do a shout out to Jimmy and a shout out to Eludius. Need more mods. Been doing the GG tour, but snakes and four and dice you're down for. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Aladius. I think you're allowed to keep trying. Um, I'm not doing the tournament because I'm I've got to um well I'm busy next weekend, so I can't play in it. But I've been told, reliably informed by other people here, that um Yeah, you can try again. Oh, you try again tonight and tomorrow morning. And 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 yeah. Um okay, so Generated that hit. This is such a tempting fireball, and I know that's a bad idea. But there's so many rats in it. One, two, three, four, five, six rats, including all four gutter runners. Like, it's not good for getting the ball. But I don't know if I can. I, d I don't know if I can say no to it. I don't think I have the, the strength to say no to this fireball. Got one. Didn't get the ball though. It's already said resist over the ball. Oh, it literally didn't knock down any others. Hmm. <laughs> Not ideal. Oh well. It's been done. Um, we knew it wasn't great, and so it proved. It could have gone worse, I guess. It could have gone worse. Let's go and put an ogre in front of this. And... 
Let's. Really glue all of these ones down. Sadness. This is now a three dice, I think. Maybe not. If I miscalculated. Oh, because the ogre doesn't have guard, does it? That's why. <laughs> Forgot the ogre doesn't actually have guard. I feel like it should, but it doesn't. Uh, are we doing that with the GFI? Or are we doing the safer hit with you then? We should take the safer hit. But on the other hand, murder. Murder is good. Do I do choose violence? This guard, yeah. Yeah. Nice. So we did get two cars that turn. The fireball did not do the thing which it probably needed to be kept for, which is getting down the most important player. But we did get two cars. Easy dodge out. Easy dodge out. Prehensile what? Cool. Mm -mm. I choose violence. Exactly. You just, you can't put that many um, players that I want to fireball underneath it and not, and not get me to fireball it. It doesn't mean it's good, though. I think it was bad. Eludius, um, sorry, uh, Arkaini and Running Wild G, thank you for the follows. Welcome to the stream. Um, Arkaini wanted the fireball, got what they wanted. Followed just to say that. Um, Min Max Master reckons uh, Trish and Fireball AV7. Well, that's the thing, right? Like, if that, um, you know, we did knock down one out of six. If we'd knocked down one of the gutter runners and removed it, that would have been pretty nice. Um, unfortunately, it was just the lineman, but it's still a wrestle tackle lineman. So it's still um, got rid of a player of like nearly 100,000 team value, which is less cost than the wizard, which is why it wasn't good still. But like it, it didn't do nothing. Oh, this is nice for them. Yeah, push the ogre off. Oh, Thadius. Is that the Apo? I kind of hate using the Apo on dead sometimes because I expect it just to fail. Which it kind of does. I mean, all right, it's kept it alive, but now we don't have it for the game. Um, but yeah, that extra guard is pretty nice to have on the team, so I guess, I guess it was worth doing. Now, if this dies, it's going to feel bad. Good. Yeah, it was a tough decision on the Apo. The earliness doesn't bother me so much because in the end, like, you know, if the team dies, the team dies. It's more about like, I like how pose I know are gonna work. <laughs> Cause like, all right, that did kind of work. It's kept it alive, but it hasn't kept it in the game. And yeah, I'd, I'd quite, quite like to not be down players in the game, which unfortunately is what's happened. I 
Hey ho. Can't always get what we want. I'm gonna click on the wrong one there. Um, push there. Stay. I'd like that one to die in a fire. Which so far, it's stubbornly refusing to do. you in there. Good. Um, Greed rewarded. Very rewarded. So there goes the apo for them as well. And now we can two dice the rat ogre. Good. Done. Bash, 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 bash. And then what? No, maybe you should stay around here. Easy dodges. What can go wrong? I'm doing it wrong. Uh, yeah, rock, uh, block again. Uh, hey, Kratos, am I playing in the tourney? I'm not, I feel like I need to have like a banner on the screen saying I'm not in the tourney. I can't next weekend, unfortunately. So there's no point in qualifying. Block Ogre has been really good. Block Ogre has been great. Where's the Choose Violent soundbite from? That's from uh, Game of Thrones, I think. Yeah, no, it is Stephanie. Is it Cersei? It's Cersei saying I choose violence. Someone in the early days of this stream decided that I sounded like her when I was talking about hurting things. That's me. Nice. You on your feet. The problem is like all this happens and then at the end this just runs through and scores. <laughs> Cause at some point we need a plan for stopping that. And I don't have one. She's got it. I think she's got it. I think I don't. <laughs> but hey, Raven, how are you? You were here earlier. Cheeky red dice. No, thank you. We push that into range. Um, if we fill both of those squares, it's a bit of an effort. Like three GFIs. In theory, we could push that into range. Is there an easier way to do it? I 
think I think it's I think it's too hard to risk right now. It's better to take our hits. Try and get rid of some more here in the middle. Really would like to get rid of this one with the guard. That's not happening at the moment. Follow. And pretty tempted to foul this rat ogre. This is a pretty good rat ogre. Maybe I will regret this. It's just stunned. Not a send off though, so that's good. I just like if that rat ogre got up that turn, it's the one thing that could really make things a lot worse for me. So keeping it down is good, even if we don't kill it. Obviously killing it would have been nice. Multi-stab assassins would get rid of both those. I mean, your stinking assassins did do a lot of damage, but you were cheating as we've talked about. Because you've got... Um, you've got commissioner dice to cheat with. Raven made it through to playoffs. Nice. Congratulations, Raven. Is that encrypt? Good for you, Raven. Congratulations. Nice. Cheeky red dice hit there. It's a bit rude. Good. Very nice. So I think we have to go for the the the, the cage dive here, the sideline cage dive, because how many better chances are we going to get to try to get rid of that? It's a four plus. Um. But obviously, let's move some things first in preparation for failure. Maybe I just leave you on there. Fine. A little bit disappointing, but fine. that one in the back annoyingly but we go with that all right 75 percent please all right we got there good good stay 
not dead, which is sad. Well, I don't want to be dead, poor Mohamed, but I would have liked to be injured now for the game, which it is not. Um, <laughs> exactly where I wanted the ball. I have given up a possible counter serve here, but I think got to um, prioritize this, haven't we? Um, so this could break tackle dodge. I don't know where's safest for this, to be honest. Because it's just getting it away from you. I mean, over here. Could gut a runner through and get it from us. But I think that's as good as we're going to do for this turn. Um, yeah, maybe I should have gone backwards. We can come through here for a one dice pretty easily. Oh, except they they needed to not stay in their own way. Oh, they can still do it on a three plus, I guess. Okay, okay just go all the way around. Uh, I mean, to be fair to them, Daedal, like they haven't got a lot of players. Um, oh, just doing that one, okay. didn't knock us down so yeah to be fair to our opponent like they've been getting a bit um pummeled but yeah it was a pretty risky sideline cage against a uh, edge for blodger this is still not totally straightforward to resolve oh and they had the chance to knock us down again they were unlucky not to knock us down there. I think I did not go to the right square with that ball. I think I was probably better off keeping it back here somewhere. So that is my bad. Um, is there any way I'm going to be able to get off this without risking the dodge? Looks difficult. Two side steppers, kind of a pain in the bum. there for now. God, I really just want to hit that one. I've been trying to kill this guard so hard. But it just doesn't want to die. It's just not keen on that whole dying scenario. Try this one and see where they go. Okay. Is this even worth it now? Or did we just try this dodge? We park over here. I'm a little bit first ground now. What do we do with you? Because I'd like to have you come forward if we can. Phew. All right. And then maybe we even give the ball to you. We've got two rerolls. Yeah. Oh, we're on turn seven. We need scoring threats. Oh man. So maybe we're better to hold it and then run you forward in front. And then you're both scoring threats. Just scared about keeping the ball here. No, I'm going to give it off. And then potate. Potate away down this way. 
and then hopefully cover you from here. Nope. So there is, there is a hit on the ball here. They are out of rerolls, but. Potato. Yeah, I think you're right, Dado. I think that I think that is what you should have done is give the ball to the um side step on there. But um yeah, it was was definitely like an awkward turn they'd run into, so Shirato in Blodge we trust. Blodge never fails, right? Blodge has literally never once failed. Good. All right, so now we take some hits because we can. Do we take the three dice block ogre hit? Apparently no, is the answer. I wanted to, but the game was like, that's not a good idea. And the game was probably right. right. I reckon we hit the rat ogre. Can we do that without rolling dice? The rat is kind of the one out of the ones that are standing that I'd most like to be rid of. And the Apo is gone. Oh well, not to be. Shirato, good job, Shirato. Good job, team. Good job, humans. I can count on you, Shirato. Thank you. <laughs> it's the weekend, baby. Woo! Hey, Dimmy G, how are you? <laughs> Game to tree. Ogre hit before scoring. Daedal, it has block. So, it would have to be a triple skull, which has never happened. Like, no one's ever rolled a triple skull. Let's be realistic. That's not a thing. All right, so we scored on their drive, which means we're no longer even as scared about the one turner as we should have done, as we would have been. Bits are a throw on the line, do you think? Uh, that's a tough call. Yeah, that's what I would do. Because the guard is really valuable. Yeah. Mm -mm. We scored on their drive there for its GG. Yep. Mm -mm. So, um, I'm quite surprised by how passive this setup is given that they need to turn us over. They're obviously very worried about losing more players. They're only down one, because we're down one and we had no bench. Like, they had two players that were off. One got surfed and then not injured, and then one was injured in the Napo. So they had two players come back at half time. So they're only one player down on us right now. Um, Yeah, we're definitely not home and safe or anything like that yet. Not against Skaven. I think we'll just carry on Shirato though, rather than carry on the catches. Also, because, yeah, more SVP on Shirato is all good. More SVP on Kalon. This is such a fun human team. Like, Block Ogre and two. Oh, wait, it's my turn. I didn't realize. I thought it was still going. Whoops. I only just realized that was my turn. Um. Yeah. Couldn't ask for a much more enjoyable human team to play. And I was really unsure about taking the second agility at the time because the team had like no guard. <laughs> um, 
but it feels really nice now that we've got it. Especially because Sharata then rolled a double next for dodge. I was unsure even about the first of the uh, adjups actually because I had no guard at the time and had been moaning relentlessly through the first five games, whatever it was, about the fact that I had no guard. And then finally I had like the first bits of level, they rolled an adjup. Uh, hey Matt, the most toxic ice cream man, you're on this team and you've been doing pretty good. Um, should we just pick the ball up first? Is that the sensible thing to do? Since it's a short kick. Nobody's ever failed a three dice block with block. It's never happened. It's just never happened. Uh, stay. Good job, Pavan. Daedal. You can do it, Daedal. But you didn't. Um, okay. Do I run players forward and do a GFI just a bit like guard, or do I say, you know what, safety first? I think I might say safety first. So we're in a good position. I just don't want to leave these players up there to get blitzed and killed for free. So. Fine. I'll send my catchers up to get killed for free instead because they're catchers. And that's just being a catcher. Daedal's rubbish. Check your DM, Daedal. Have you just DM Daedal to tell him he's rubbish? Because that seems a bit harsh. I am winning, Chris. It's going good. I can't say whether it's a moral victory, like the one I got against you earlier. But at the moment we're winning. I think if I follow the Gdanic school, they're all moral victories. Because as Gdanic explained it when I was watching him a while ago, the streamer is always the protagonist and therefore can't be wrong. <laughs> if I understood Gdanic's logic correctly. Hey, hey, oh, sorry, Matthew. I did just say this happens to catchers. Might have just sacrificed you there. It's fine, you're fine, you're not dead. You're not dead, so it's fine. Not even MNG'd. Just keeping safe for the next game. Um... I don't love pushing up the sideline where there's a um, rat ogre about. Doesn't sound like a very good idea, does it? the GFI and I am going to do it because I'm greedy. But let's try to get the ball safe first.
finally got rid of that one. We have put a shift in getting rid of that one. I'm not even going to dodge this because I think it makes you take those blocks on a dodge player. Sorry, Freezing Star. Much though we have done well dodging off the tail so far. Yeah, that was nice, Willie, just getting rid of that one. As long as we do our best to enjoy this friendly competitive pastime, we are all winners regardless of the result. There you go, John Flip. That's the right answer. Oh, that's very nice. Big fan of the ogre, the rat ogre, not, not cooperating. I like that a lot. Kalon, just three SVP away from a level. Let's go, Kalon. Love your work. Freezing Star taking that punch like a champ as well. Oh, Dauntless hit here on the uh, Blitzer. Doesn't get us. Does not reroll it. Would have been a pretty greedy reroll. I think we'll just move the ball up this way. Keeping it hopefully safe all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll be able to hit it. The red dice they've got. Yeah, it's a red dice on Budge. Can't let it happen. Good. This is a bit sloppy, to be honest. This is all a bit sloppy. But hopefully it's going to be all right. Throwing dice to get the rat ogre into the action again. Score next turn, we give them four turns. I mean, they could score twice in four turns. And they are Skaven with an edge five gacha runner. Just going to triple base Blackfire at the top of the formation, feeling intimidated by Blackfire. And then blitz him as well as so our three dice. No, it's still two dice. Moving into all this guard, but I guess just going to be the two dice for that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So putting the rack over in our way makes sense. Smashing poor Blackfire up. Sorry, Blackfire. It's another MNG. Could be worse. Gonna 
let's see if the ogre wants to do it. And if not, I will take a one nice. Good enough. And just come back this way. Obviously you gotta be a little bit careful not to expose the ball because they are still scaven. This as well at the back. Players have we got three. One, two. Three, four. So we actually maybe can't take the ball that far, which is annoying, because I'd like to take it just far away from that. Well, having said that, how far could that? This is fine. We didn't take a bits that turn. Oh yes, we wanna bits the ogre, that's why. We were gonna bits with the ogre. Now I remember. Two more kills to level Petunia. She's a pretty scary rogue with break tackle and um Juggernaut. In fact, have I covered the enough well enough from the break tackle? I was thinking this screen is here, but actually one, two, three, four, five, six. Could could do that. It's the double GFI to get in. And then the break tackle dodge, but it's possible. Have not stopped that risk completely, have I? Looks like they might be going for it too. Yeah, I think they're doing it. I think we're about to see Petunia go full beast mode. Okay, no, just gonna try and base it. That's also fair enough. Cheeky corner cut at the break tackle. That's good enough. Get us this. Oh, this isn't good. Be safe, Lady Yeti. Good. Okay, that helps. At least the guard can get up and help to get rid of it again. Definitely feel like I'm making hard work of this. Uh, yeah, that's a good decision. Because I can't score this time, which is what I'd like to do, is just score. It's just got to be that. Good. Good, right, that makes life easier. That's the biggest threat on the ball. Dealt with, isn't it? Still that though, isn't there? 
Do not like this. Do not like these situations. Good. Fly me. This is really hard work. I think I've not done a good drive. Anyway, haven't lost it yet. Giraffe! Giraffe's here. Yeah, the bonehead, the bonehead got in the way of the Roka Surf Tan. Have I seen your team, your team, Jimmy? I think I like it. Oh my God, that's gross, Daedal. Ban Daedal. Daedal used to be one of the good guys. Daedal used to play elves and be a good person and now dwarves, a terrible person. That's how that works. It is a judgment on you as a person. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't say up to the end, Giraffe. It sounds like you kicked some bum again. It's sad that it's the end of that Kislev team. It really, the games I've seen you play on it recently, you've absolutely crushed people. I've seen you playing some awesome Blood Bowl with them. Although, if Giraffe has to restart with a fresh team, does that mean if I came back to um, Crypt, I could end up in the same division as Giraffe? Because that could be fun. Oh, don't kill Kalon. Kalon's good. Don't do it. Don't kill Kalon. Good. Good. All right. Turn 15. I wasn't planning to sort out to turn 16. It's just kind of the way things have gone. Um, no one's ever failed a three dice book before. Three dice box can't fail. Not with block. Good. And then get round this side, hit this one in the face. Good. Right now we run the ball over here. And cover that there and there. And then Kalon is going to hit Sneaky Pete in the face. Correct, Sneaky Peach. Good. I'm happy with that. I don't need to kill it. As I don't want to kill someone's favorite player. It, as long as I don't have to deal with it. It's the important thing. Mm, do you know what? Uh, no. I've got the time left. Oh well. <laughs> Plop in. Tries to be a hero.
I'd really like to do the handoff to Kalon and get that level because tackle to go with that one would be a good thing. Six plus dodge makes it, but does not get the power. All right. Uh, Rerolling next season, so if you do play, you might get a rematch. Why would you reroll, Chris? You've got such a beautiful team. Punch that one in the face. Oh, that's a nice bonus, Sipapa. Who's this one? Daedal. There you go, Daedal. Daedal redeeming himself after that turn when he failed to kill the person I wanted him to kill before. Okay, stay. There is like a tiny risk if I do this that they end up stealing the ball and scoring. But it is pretty tiny and I do really want this level, so... Hey, and here we go. Nice. Sorry, Chris, I can't hear you from over the sound of my moral victory. Moral victory. Just even better than a real victory. Giraffe has to be a like season, so we can end up with tree first giraffe. Why is she now giraffe? I'm not sure how I feel about giraffe. Well, I saw this matchup and thought it was going to be horrible for the humans, but actually it worked out okay in the end, didn't it? So that's nice. Edge five, gutter runner did not torment us. The giraffian, the giraffe titan. I think giraffe should stream now. I think giraffe should start a stream up because who am I going to raid after this? Last night I got to raid giraffe. What if I want to do it again? Maybe I should just raid giraffe regardless of whether she's streaming or not because then she'll feel so guilty about me sending all those people just to a blank screen and she'll be like, shit. And then she'll have to stream. Dizzy owes everyone a lot of football games this season. She's been doing a September thing as well. And it's, um, I can't remember exactly what she's agreed to, but I know because she hit 20 subs that committed her to 10 games of one team. And then I think she hit another target that committed to, uh, to another 10 games of another team. And I know that if she gets to 80 subs, she does 10 games of dwarves, which obviously that means I'm hoping she doesn't get that far. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> Um, I'm lying, of course. I hope Dizzy gets all the subs in the world. And you should all go follow and sub to Dizzy because she's lovely. Then we use the rat ogre to push Edge 5 closer into range. Nicely done. I mean, you do want more levels in this, don't you? Because you want to get it to um, 
sprint to make it a natty. Push it here and you can hit it out of the way. This camera angle's gone weird. Okay, not knocked down, but this is good. So no more casualties for us in this game, which is nice because we did use the apothecary early. Can they do this without the reroll? Makes the first bit. Only needs one GFI, so this looks like it hasn't failed. Otherwise we'd see the blue screen, so they've made the pass. So it'll be some two plus dodges and then one GFI. Good luck, Morbird. I hope you make it, genuinely, because why not? We've got the win, so hope you get it. Oh man, tripped on the line. Oh man, when you see that roll over and you know the apothecary's gone, it's a bit scarier. Well played, more bad. Thanks for the game. That is our first win of today. We haven't lost a game today, but we have just drawn every game. So nice to get our first win of the day. Um, I'm not looking at dice. I'm trying to look at dice less. I'm trying to do it less. I'm not never doing it, but I'm doing it less than I used to. Um, we did catch a couple of MNGs, but I don't think any of them are perms. Great. So that's just tackle, I think. Or do we copy the Andy Davo model and go frenzy? No, I, I think I'm taking tackle. I think I just want tackle to deal with teams like that one we just played. I want to be able to hit blodges and feel like there's a decent chance to to get him. Um, are these both MNGs? MNG and MNG, yeah. Okay, that was game number 11 on the human team. Record is 7, 1 and 3. If you're watching on YouTube and you're enjoying the content, I'd love it if you could leave a like and subscribe.